Okay. So, obviously there are going to be some conflicts with some mods with others. So the reason that mod isn't working is because I have another mod set up. And it's something that's going to be included in the other mod I have running. It's just not there yet. It's kind of being worked on and in progress. Um, remember, some of these mods are still being uh, worked on, progressed, having bugs ironed out. Which is why I may encounter some bugs in this run on camera. But um, yeah, the apparently the unlimited sprint mod is conflicting with the... Uh, no Reapers and Max Scan Range mod. Now, it's worth noting that the uh, Expanded Galaxy mod, which uh, is a really considered a really, really good mod, that is an option when you get to the settings. It's just grayed out right now because it's just not available yet. But it is there for you to change. They're just still working because apparently it's a very large mod. This is what they said in the posts of the mod, that it's a very large mod and they're gradually bring it over piece by piece instead of all at once uh, to try and make sure that it works as fine as it could possibly be and it's just not available yet so fingers crossed it's going to be available at some point because i would like to get rid of those reapers and such you know because you saw part of the annoyance right there right sometimes where you spawn is right where you need to get but then there's a reaper literally spawning right there so then you almost have no opportunity to actually get it right <laughs> so yeah that's part of the annoyance and why people want a mod to get rid of that so you know if i had known i would have probably just gone with that instead of the unlimited sprint but whatever so now if you're like well why don't you just uninstall it you well, because i for one thing i couldn't find the option to actually do that in the mod manager and honestly i'm just like look it's not a huge deal i'll just go ahead and wait until later so i would like to be rid of that but it's not like oh my gosh you know so in the meantime let's just go ahead and head to Palavin and uh, look for our old buddy Garrus Palavin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Turian Space Age. During the Krogan Rebellions, the hierarchy classified nearly all data on Manai and its sister moon, Nanus. Because they feared the Krogan could use the moon as weapons by smashing them into Palavin's surface. However, some information has leaked out. Images of Turian bases where personnel walk without enviro suits indicate advanced infrastructure, likely a network of subterranean tunnels with powerful mass effect field generators that retain heat and atmosphere over swaths of the surface. The Reaper's plans for bombarding the bases were met with fierce resistance by the Turian fleet and the moon's anti-aerospace defenses. With their easy victory stalled, the Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take the bases one at a time. The Turians have the advantage on the moon, but the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. With every base captured, the Reapers deny the Turian fleet another place to repair or refuel. Now let me see if I can actually look at Palavin first, though. Palavin. The only thing on this planet that isn't silver are the Turians. It's all too clear they're made of steel. These are Alliance hero John Grissom's impressions of the Turian homeworld Palavin, seen by humans for the first time following the First Contact War. The Turian's martial attitude permeates every aspect of Palavin society, from architecture to art to politics. It's no surprise that their homeworld was never occupied by an invading force until now. The Reapers, aware of their enemy's subjugation, I'm sorry, their enemy's reputation brought overwhelming force to Palavin and did not hesitate to bombard cities that resisted and all of them resisted. The dust and smoke from pulverized cities is now a breathing hazard across much of the planet. Water and power supplies have all but vanished. Still, the fight here has cost the Reapers dearly. Palavin's weak magnetic field means solar radiation levels are greater than those found on other habitable worlds. 
Human visitors are advised to wear Enviro suits or other radiation protection when visiting Palavin. And sadly, we are not going to get to go visit Palavin. I, I remember I was really hoping we were actually going to get to see Palavin when I when I first heard about this. I was like, oh, are we going to Palavin? Are we finally going to see the Turian homeworld? No, we're just going to go to this moon. Sad face. All right. I don't know why it does that. We're going to go with uh, the Inferno armor for this. You'll probably notice that I have some pieces here for my default armor. The N7 Defender armor, which looks pretty freaking awesome. Really cool looking. This was part of the... Uh, I remember this was part of the Collector's Edition. And I really liked it. I'm really glad it's included here. The Inferno Armor and the Cerberus Ajax Armor. We're going to go with the Inferno Armor, though, because 30% power recharge speed and power damage. Which, for a Vanguard, that sounds pretty cool. Plus, I like the how it looks, and we're going to make sure that it's off uh, during uh, cutscenes and such, of course. So, at least it should work that way. I've got my weapons and the mods set up with what I have available, so... But I haven't set them up though, so let's see. So, Liara. You can, of course, have the Locust. The best SMG in the game. Go ahead and have the Paladin. <laughs> I just find that amusing. And then. Yeah, that's fine. And then James. You can have the N7 Typhoon. There you go. And as far as a shotgun. Give you the piranha. I remember like really liking this. That's one of the things I really like is the amount of weapons and mods and customization for your weapons uh, that this game offers. I really, really liked it. Well, that's right, I gotta do their powers too. Alright, guys, give me a moment. This is one thing I'm not too fond of, like the new point system where it's like multiple points. I mean, we did have this in the previous game, but then you have this where it's like, hey, choose between these, you know? And I'm just like, but why can't I have all those, you know? Like, I hope there's a mod that comes out where it's like, hey, you can have all these just by default or just, you know, as a choice. That'd be really cool. Just to add to the gameplay, it's probably going to be considered cheating or whatever, but, you know... I'd let it be known how what my stance is on that, especially if you're choosing to play on lower difficulties and such, so at that point it doesn't really matter. And especially when you are doing a single player game and you are able to just go ahead and go nuts with it. One of the things I also like, you'll probably have noticed, we didn't get an email about a certain mission on Eden Prime yet. And that's because one of the things the Expanded Galaxy mod offers is you get the choice of when certain missions become available, which I really like. So let's see. Here's an example I'm talking about. Either we increase her recharge uh, speed bonus for all of her powers or her health and shields. Now, to me, this just makes sense because she's an Asari. Of course, I want her to have uh, better recharge speed for her abilities, but, you know. I hope you guys can pick up on what I'm saying here, like, my one of my points here. 
So I either make him bulkier with health and shields or weapon damage. Let's go with the health and shields. Make James uh, more of a tank, you know what I mean? getting decimated strongest military in the galaxy and the reapers are obliterating it was it like this on earth yes shepherd i'm so sorry she left out the part where he's not just an old friend Commander, he's also the man she loves more. james open that hatch She just kind of left that part out. Hold on a second. Let's uh, change this up a bit here. Why are these here? That's not, I, <laughs> whatever, there we go. Hold on. Yeah, the Piranha does have a uh, a lengthy reload there, but you notice the stability when I fire it? Look at this. Yeah, I like that. Just saying. Okay. Thank you. Just looking if there's anything I forgot to loot over here. Look, even the sprint animation here in missions kind of reflects the way it was back in the original game. up. Alright. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Either more melee damage bonus, recharge speed of biotic charge by 200% after an enemy is killed by a heavy melee, or more health and barrier bonuses. Let's go with this. That sounds fun. Gonna have to remember to do some heavy melee. Can't do anything for them. Try them again. Do you read? Nothing, sir. Not even static. Try them again. Respectfully, sir. That's an order. 
This is one of the reasons why I like having barrier in uh, this game. Notice that it's still active. And it's got this really cool looking effect to it. You notice that on Shepard? Waiting for your orders, sir. Like, by now in Mass Effect 2, it would have worn off and gone away, but it's still going. And I just love the idea that, you know, Shepard as a vanguard or even just a biotic in general is just able to kind of radiate with power. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gear's filtering units instead, at least. It'll be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. They're looking around. What's that human, Asari, another human doing here? Just don't mind them. But sir, they're looting our camp. I said don't mind them. Because in case you haven't noticed... Okay, I don't care what anyone says. This skybox here... Looks awesome. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. So, yeah, that was one of those first moments where I was like, oh no, what do we do now? I mean, I was also going, okay, where's Garrus? But when he said that, and said, oh yeah, the person who came here to save in order to make sure this happens, yeah, they're dead. Uh, okay, uh, what do we do now? How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy, just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Do you notice that the I Avenger the is a different color? Of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. I think that's because I have it fully upgraded. And I like that, the idea that the more you upgrade it, it actually changes its appearance. There's just something about that I find very appealing. That they all, not all of them look the same. That certain levels of a weapon actually look different. Because if they all looked exactly the same, how could you even tell the difference? Other than how they perform in combat, but an appearance difference actually uh, helps, m <laughs> to me, makes sense. Good luck! Alright. I gotta remember to actually use that in this game. I never used it in the second game because it was just a little whack that. But here, it's like, nope!
Alright, time to fix the tower. We can't repair it from this panel. Liara? Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah. Let's take them. That's why I kept you down here, man. You want some combat? Here you go, buddy. Good job, Liara. General, do you read? The comm tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palafin Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. I'm sorry, I just find that so appealing. Boom! Just smash the ground with a big wave of energy. Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palafin Command. Please return ASAP. Can you guys see why I was talking about how much I enjoy playing Vanguard in this game more so than the previous ones? Before we go there, I just want to reiterate this point. That is a gorgeous skybox. I don't care what anyone says, that looks cool. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Yeah! Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. You're alive. I'm hard to kill. You should know that. <laughs> Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. I'm <laughs> a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavin Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. I like Victus, by the way. What do you mean? On Tetris during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy. But wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. I like that because, one, it gives us a, an insight into the kind of uh, man that Victus is, which is someone that I like. The guy, the kind of guy who very much values the men who serve under him. As we will see later, he very much cares about his men, which is something I 
find very appealing uh, when it comes to a general, a military leader, uh, someone who's literally leading a squad or, you know, platoon or such of men, someone who actually cares about the men who work for him. And uh, it also gives us a nice little insight into the way uh, Turian military uh, hierarchy and uh, meritocracy work. You know, the way, you know, that they don't necessarily uh, favor wild, bold strategies in that regard when it comes to who they want to promote amongst their military hierarchy. It's a very interesting insight into how uh, Turian uh, society works. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay. Let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Garrus is back. Before we do that, though, let's get him situated when it comes to weapons. All right, so I've got the regular Widow like uh, Legion used. The Mantis. And then there's the Black Widow. That's another thing, the mods also change the appearance of the weapon as well. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people love the Black Widow uh, sniper rifle. Okay. Oh, that's right. Garrus' powers. Okay. Proximity mine, that's new. Okay. Yeah, let's just increase his weapon damage. Just make him a, you know, a monster when it comes to doing weapon damage. Okay. You got it. Okay. I think we are good to go. Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. 
Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Ah, uh, Marauders. Just me? That reminds me, I still haven't read the Codex stuff for you guys. James going, does Shepard always do this? And Garrett just looks at him like, yes. Shepard, come in. Absolutely, Bye. yes. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Time for a turret segment. All right, Garrus and James become buds uh, as this goes on. Here comes the brute. Holy hell! What is that thing? Yeah, that's a brute. Trust me, on higher difficulties, that thing is a pain. What's the word of the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Took out a frigate. Man, how many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? Yep. That's a crashed frigate right there. Yeah. Does he have fortification on? He does. See, that's what I mean. The effect stays on. I think it looks really cool. Whoops. Sorry, Garrus. Damn. Oops. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. I want you guys to take a moment to think about that. Comprehend that. In two days, 
they lost 8 million people. In two days, 8 million people were killed. Yikes, just yikes. Look around. That should give you some idea. Are you putting up a good fight? For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Like I said, I think that skybox looks really cool. Got more back here. Shit, I yeah, Shepard saw that husk attacking her man and she was like, nope. Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to smack him upside the head when he said that. He was like, I left the fight. No, you didn't. You are in the fight. Part of the reason why I'm not too fond of uh, Vega's character. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. Head south. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. Man, how many troops in that crash? 50? 75? Not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. Yeah. We should go. They said the Primarch was headed south. Man, I would have loved to have gone there just to be able to see what Paladin looks like. Whoa! Whoa! That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. So Lola, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Uh, that very shoved exposition there for the new players who have never played a Mass Effect game before. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the tutorial stuff and the, hey, this is for new players, sadly doesn't stop. Even when we get to the the Quarians and Geth conflict, there's going to be a dialogue where Shepard actually asks, hey, can you tell me about your history with the Geth? And I'm like, Shepard, you know this. Why are you asking? Oh, that's right. New players. <laughs> I'll stop. I'm just trying to really help hammer this point in about why it seems just so strange. 
That sounds bad. Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primark from me. Right behind you. Whoops, sorry. Move into the compound. Moving. Right behind you. Oh yeah, this is the Paladin pistol. Trying to get all the mods and everything. We're like, Shepard, will you stop looting and help us fight? Looks grim. It's been a brutal fight for these guys. But the tide's turning. Turn up the heat! Checking. Okay, I think that's all of them. I think it's everything. Hello, Victus. General Victus? Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank? I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Shepard, you're exaggerating the damage to Earth right now. Just saying, they lost eight million in two days. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. 
Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan? Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. <laughs> Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arcturus Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire Second Fleet to provide cover for the Third and the Fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. Ah. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By Sorry. And a fast one. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky, building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Yeah. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out.
All right, so we'll uh, we won't be going to Sir Cash for a little while. So I have some codex entries for us to go through. Uh, not all of them, but uh, some of them. I do enjoy the ones that are actually narrated compared to these where I actually have to read them, but you know. Huh, they actually put me back at the top there. But um, yeah, we'll be uh, talking with Primarch Victus and uh, just kind of making our rounds on the Normandy and probably heading back to the Citadel and such when we return. Stay tuned.